Hello friends, it is a Costco shopping day today. The weather in Anchorage has been a little bit gloomy. The sun is peeking out right now, but we are still in the 50s. We have not had more than like a day and a half of sunshine in a row for weeks. We are still waiting for full on summer around here, but that's all right. We still got lots to do. And one of those things is going Costco shopping in preparation for another trip to the cabin this week. Let's get going. It was raining when I left the house, so I'm kind of surprised by this beautiful sunshine. I'm gonna take it and enjoy it for just a moment while I walk into Costco. Okay, so we do not drink alcohol, but we do like to make little virgin mojitos sometimes. So I bought mint and it's growing on our deck. So I'm gonna grab these non-alcoholic margarita mixes. We'll put some sparkling water in them and then the mint and we'll feel like we're back on our Alaska cruise having a little mojito. Like I said, we do not drink alcohol, but there are so many local beers in here. It's kind of fun to look at all the different Alaska alcohol. 49th State Brewing. An American India Pale Ale. They've got Midnight Sun Brewing, King Street Brewing, Sakai Red India Pale Ale from Midnight Sun Brewing. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know if I have to buy this in here or not. Let me ask. Do I have to buy this in here, the non-alcoholic? You can pay it there, you can pay it here. I'll just buy it at the end, thank you. They even have some of the Alaskan hard seltzers. Really pretty cans. I get questions about our alcohol here. I have no idea what I'm looking at at all. So, sorry I'm not the best tour guide when it comes to that. Coconut rolls, $8.99. I often get asked down in the comments if I shop at Costco with a shopping list. And the answer is sometimes. If it's just a regular week at home, I go and grab ingredients that I know will make good meals for our family. We have freezers full of moose meat and fish and I grab things that will go with those to make meals that I know my family will like. Now if I'm going on a camping trip like I am today, I have a very specific list because I need to take those items along with us. So it really just depends. I am shopping from a list today but I am also grabbing things that I see that are on sale or just that I think will like to add to the list but I'm not always a list shopper. All right, I've just been browsing. Haven't seen anything new until I came around this corner. We have these down alternative reverse blankets, so like you can flip them. I really love this one right here. It's really pretty. $22.99 for a king size blanket. That's a very good deal. Very small and compact as well. Kind of want that for the cabin. <clears throat> oh, and then over here they have it in a queen size for $19.99. Okay, the boys love these. I know that there's other alternatives to um, helping your clothes smell better, but they've kind of become addicted to these and they're on sale, so I'm going to grab one. We also loved using this at the cabin, so I'm going to grab one for us at home. It worked really well for washing dishes. $15.79, dollars $2.59, $2.99. I've never seen the pears sold like this in the little snappers bag, kid size fruit. They look just like the normal pears to me, but. I feel like pears don't travel to the cabin very well. They end up getting too bruised, so we're not gonna get any this week. Even though it's a really good price, $1.74. These are the apples that I just put through the freeze dryer and they are amazing. The boys are just gobbling them up freeze dried. So I see us freeze drying a lot more of these in the future. This week I'm gonna get them for just eating, but we are loving the freeze dried ones. 
We've been having a lot of fun freeze drying candy lately for gifts and for the kids to try. But today we're gonna do something a bit more healthy. I've got some apples and we are going to make some freeze dried apple snacks. I'm gonna try some with cinnamon, some just plain and have them as a snack. I have a bowl of lemon water here that I'm gonna put the apples in to keep them from going brown. And then we're gonna get them on the trays and into the freeze dryer. Actually, I'm gonna go turn on the freeze dryer because it takes 15 minutes to get ready. We'll do that so that when the apples are done, freeze dryer will be ready. So push start, get it going. I really love this apple peeler. I will actually link it down in the description below. It comes in so handy for slicing up apples. If you wanna make apple pie or applesauce, I use this all the time. Right now I'm choosing to use it without the peeler. You can also have it peel off the outside of the apple, but I didn't think that we needed to peel off the outside of the apple to make these apple chips in the freeze dryer. It is just so fun watching them peel. They actually become little spirals and then we will break them up into pieces to put them in the freeze dryer. Next, I dried them off because we are removing moisture when we are freeze drying. So I wanted them to be a little bit less wet. And then I broke them into pieces. I actually wish that I had cut them into pieces so that they were more uniform, but that's all right. And then we are adding some cinnamon to half of the apples. And then it is as simple as laying them out on the tray in a single layer. I try to get as many on the tray as possible. These are not gonna puff up, so you just kinda wanna lay them out, touching, and get them all laid out nice and flat. Next up was doing the regular apples, and then I realized it was much easier to take the spring and chop the whole thing in half and then it made really nice uniform pieces, which were much easier to lay out and dry and easier to put on the trays. You know, you live, you learn. I'm just trying this out for the first time. So I kind of learned new things along the way. I was much happier with this process of cutting it instead of ripping them apart. Because when I ripped them apart, they just made such different size pieces. I think this is much better and will go on the tray much nicer. Again, I'm patting them dry and then they just go perfectly onto the freeze dryer tray. Very, very satisfying. Close the drain valve. Load the trays. these in about 24 hours all right friends it's the next morning because it finished in the middle of the night I did check it before I went to bed it wasn't done um, it switches back to cold mode to keep them preserved and so it's nice and cold in there let's break it Ooh, it's nice and crispy mm, this is a cinnamon one so good Regular. Excellent, excellent snack. I'm gonna bag these up. We're gonna eat them over the next few days. Perfect like road trip snack. Mm. Cinnamon was a good idea. So yummy. Time to get these apples upstairs and put away in bags. I'm not gonna seal these up. We're just gonna be eating them right away. And by right away, I mean right away. It's really amazing that an entire bowl of apples is now just these two little bags, but we are sure gonna enjoy them. They are so tasty. Bennett's right here behind the camera looking for more. <laughs> Let's save them for our road trip. These would be fun for the cabin. Some little cinnamon rolls. I don't know what the price is. There is no price tag. Nom, 
$6.99. I passed these up, but then I remembered there's a couple different things I want them for at the cabin, so $4.99 for some pitas. $7.49. It's our lucky day. This is back down to $5. We'll grab two. Cabbage, $4.99. And romaine, $5.99. $9.99. Ooh, this is the first I've seen California cherries for the summer. $9.99 for two pounds. $6.49. Bagels, one for breakfast, one for sandwiches. And one more easy breakfast for the cabin. You get two of these for $7.99 grabbed a blueberry one. I don't remember seeing these before. Little confetti cookies, $9.99 for this tub. And they have raspberry cakes with buttercream icing. Those are fun. French bread, $5.99. This is new for summer. A strawberries and cream bar cake, $17.99. Looks fun. And key lime pie. We tried this last summer. It was pretty good. $15.99. Pineapples at our Costco are $4.79. And watermelons are $11.99. What do you pay for pineapples and watermelons where you live? I feel like those tend to be more expensive here. Okay, they don't have the half ham right now, so we're going to grab the sliced ham. $9.88. This gyro meat has been a huge hit, and we're trying to get through the Costco size tzatziki, so we got to keep grabbing it. $11.99. And this was really helpful at the cabin last time because sometimes we just need a really quick meal. $9.49. This, the two of them will feed our family. We've really enjoyed this. We're still getting through it. It's lasted a long time. Let's see, I might grab some guacamole. These freeze really well, so we'll take some with us to the cabin and freeze the rest. Also gonna grab some salsa, $6.89. Peanut butter, $10.49. I've heard that these poppy prebiotic sodas are really good. The flavors are strawberry lemon, orange, and cherry limeade. $19.99 for 15. Five grams of sugar or less. Prebiotics for a healthy gut. Kind of a fun option for soda. I think I'm gonna try them. Hello. Hi. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sadie, this is your friend. Gary, Gary, Gary. Hi. Hi, Lauren. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I recognize your voice. You're catching up on your trip on the boat? Yeah. Getting your sea legs back, your shore legs? <laughs> You know, I never really felt like I was on a boat. It you just felt like a you had beautiful weather. You I know. Lockdown. It just felt like a hotel. And then you like woke up in a new city. It was kind of fun. It was kind of cool about your husband doing the uh, free diving. Yeah. I'm getting more that's scallops. What did, you, what did you get? Well, they're like rock oysters, and then you get the scallop out of them. And you sold them to the passion shop. Did he get enough for everybody on the trip? <laughs> He had a limit of five. He got us four. Okay. So we ate them and enjoyed them. I, Are we all right? We found Gary. I am here. All you people that watch Lauren's YouTube channel, hello, hello, hello. And I'd be remiss if I didn't see my home state of New York State, Finger Lakes region. Hi. <laughs> the best area in the world. Say hi to the rest of the family. I will. How's your dehydrator going? Oh my gosh. So good. And you know what? When I, when I saw you got that, have you done ice cream yet? No. Please do ice cream. I did then apples. Bring me some. I did apples yesterday and it was like. Okay. Speaking yeah. of apples, when you go to the dried fruit aisle, yeah. remember I was talking about the dried apples? Yeah. It's not the bare ones, those okay. are chips. It's apples, cinnamon apple slices. Okay. And by Medora. Okay, Midori. I'll look at them. <laughs> Bye, Gary. I will, thanks. $17.99. We've been going through quite a bit of chicken nuggets on the weeks that we're home. $7.29. Ooh, this hat's on sale. This is the same brand as the sun hat that I often wear, but this one has a bigger rim. $12.99 on sale. 
13.49. Hunter and Bennett were wanting some shorter socks because the high ones get really hot. I have not seen this. Spanish style rice with quinoa, peppers, and corn. We love this one with the brown rice, but this one sounds yummy too. $13.39 for either of these. We eat this with the madras lentils. This would be great with, you know, tacos and things. I do prefer to make my own like side dishes like that, but sometimes you just need a really quick meal when you're exhausted. Okay, we loved the freeze-dried apples so much. I saw my friend Brooke do freeze-dried pears from the can like this. $7.39 for this big can. We're gonna try them. Not this week, because we'll be at the cabin, but I'm gonna get them so that when we come home, we can try them. And also the peaches. Fresh peaches and pears can get really expensive, so we'll see if this is a good alternative. $7.49. I'm also gonna try pineapple, $9.79. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we recently got a Harvest Right freeze dryer. You can see my video where we open it and use it for the first time, but it's been going nonstop when we are home this summer because we just have so many ideas of things to try in the freeze dryer. Our goal is to make shelf stable meals that we can take on hunting and camping trips, but in between making meals with it, we have been doing candy and fruits and just having so much fun trying things in the freeze dryer that then can be used as snacks. 10.29, I like these for taking on camping trips because they're just easier to stick in the cooler, 10.49. 8.29. $10.79. It's kind of a cabin tradition to have a big thing of red vines to snack on. Never seen these before. Dark chocolate coconut cups. Interesting. $14.49. This is really nice to have at the cabin, especially if it's rainy and cold. Cook up some rice, cook up some chili really quick, and feed a crowd. These are on sale right now, $9.79. Hi, Lloyd. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good to Did see you, you too. Did you enjoy your trip down there? We, we watched it. Yeah, we had a really good time. Boy, you left Anchorage at the right time. <laughs> he has got time. such good weather. Just had a very nice talk with Lloyd. His mom watches our channel and he sees them sometimes when he is there, so. Hello Lloyd and hello Lloyd's mom. Okay, I need toothpaste. $26.49. Okay, I guess I was showing the wrong apples. These are the ones that Gary says are amazing. Gourmet dried fruit with cinnamon, $11.29. I would buy them, but I'm in the freeze drying mode. They do look yummy though. So those have like a softer texture, whereas when you freeze dry them, they have a little bit more of a crunch to them, but they do get soft when you start chewing them. Okay, friends, this is our cart for today. I think we got everything we need. I'm gonna check my list one more time before check out. I know, shocker, I actually have a list today. I do need a few things from Fred Meyer, but this is it for Costco. The boys did not want to come shopping with me, but they did want a chicken bake, so I'm going to grab some for them. Ooh, they've started having Caesar salads again for $6.99.
Before we do our haul, we need to come say hi to Miss Luna. She's napping in the sunshine. Hi, sweetheart. I'm sure she'll come visit us once she hears me talking, but hi. It's good to see you. Okay, let's start our haul over here. Chicken nugget refill. I put these at the beginning because I need to get them in the freezer. And the gyro slices, both excellent for lunches during the summer or a quick dinner. Our dinner for tonight though is in here. We've got some beautiful red salmon fillets that Hunter and Mark and my dad got. Those are gonna be super yummy. Grab some cucumbers, ham, blueberries, grapes, and some strawberries. Jalapeno lime chips to take with us to the cabin and red vines. Grab some salsa. Two of these salads, I love it when they go down to $5. Scoop those up. Gala apples. Romaine lettuce. These naan go great with soups at the cabin as well as making like little sandwiches. So naan pitas for pita pizzas as well as gyros and two things of bananas. This French bread is good for making hot ham and cheese sandwiches. It is also good for making French toast in the morning. So we're gonna take that to the cabin. Also good for making sandwiches, breakfast, fish tacos at the cabin, and two cabbages. Got some yogurts, because they this brand was on sale. Guacamole, and some chicken tortilla soup. Excited to make just some virgin mojitos with this. I have two mint plants out here growing, and so we'll put those in and add some of that margarita mix, plus some club soda or sparkling water, something like that, and just have a nice little treat. Grab these coconut rolls as a road trip snack. Breakfast items, just things that we don't usually have at home but are easy to take with us to the cabin. Mayonnaise, different types for this. I like having this in the refrigerator. This goes really well in the cooler during the summer. Chili for the cabin. And we just are running out of this and so I grabbed one. Excited to try these poppy drinks. Mark said we needed peanut butter at the cabin. We probably have some in the garage. I'll put this in the garage and, and grab the older ones to take the cabin, but I wanted to make sure to replace it since we were gonna be taking it. Two of these, cause they were on sale. And then these number 10 cans of fruit I'm really excited about to freeze dry them. That's gonna have to wait a few days, but it's gonna be fun to try those. And then we have our table over here of other items, laundry detergent, odor defense, toothpaste, scrub brush, socks, and some vitamins. Miss Luna never came to inspect. She must be very sleepy. Today's Costco total was $465.23. Costco summer groceries. They're expensive, but we appreciate you watching the channel and helping us pay for all these groceries because yeah, feeding four growing boys is expensive. I do have a few things I need to get at Fred Meyer, but I wanted to bring this stuff home and get the things in the fridge that needed to before I do that. So I'm gonna put these things away and then I'll show you what we get at Fred Meyer. Since I don't want these things to get eaten before we go to the cabin, I am just putting them right back into a bag and then we'll just take them with us when we leave. Oh, Miss Luna did decide to come out. Did you come to see what we got? Thanks for coming to visit. You can't resist coming to say hello, can you? Get your moment in the spotlight. Hi. You can tell summer is in full swing because all the parking lots have a bunch of motorhomes in them. Okay, so we just need a bunch of random things here. Ooh, 
Ooh, watermelons are much cheaper here, $6.99. They do look like they're about half the size of the ones at Costco though. So you get what you pay for. This one's a seeded watermelon for $14.99. I might get one of these small ones. Gotta scan the coupon. Not sure if these are $2.99 or $5.99. $2.99. S'mores. $4.29 for some little biscuits. It's a four pack. We make donuts with these at the cabin. These little muffin mixes are fun at the cabin. You just add milk. We have a little oven that we put on the propane stove. So I'm gonna grab a couple. Now we don't have to use everything this trip. These are just things that I realized we didn't have the last time we went. This is not what I usually buy, but this is all I can find. Some lemon lime seltzer water. $2.49 a bottle. Should have brought white bread at Costco. It's so expensive. I wanted this classic white, but it's $3.99. I think we'll try and go with this. Which is so tiny. book just in case it's rainy weather well this little random shopping trip to Fred Meyer cost me $62.39 but we got a lot of goodies to have at the cabin thank you so much for shopping with me today we are so grateful for each and every one of you that spends time with us and we will see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life Oh, feels so good to have that shopping done. Mom, can I have some more freeze dried apples? <laughs> yes. You like them? But I haven't had any of these. Not gonna last very long. Yeah, because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome.